might as well dive into a couple of topics here. This might be a, a short one today because I've got to jet off soon and head off to W O R K. Oh, and talking about W O R K, how annoying, um, or how how not how annoying. I'm I'm a I'm a much better team player than I was a, f- a few years ago, right? I think a few years ago I would have kicked up much of much more of a fuss in certain situations, or I would have made it very aware. I would have made it very known that I wasn't happy with what was going on, or I didn't like this, right? X, Y, and Z. But I think as the m- the more you grow up, the more you start to realize that you know certain things are not in your control, certain battles are not worth fighting, and generally you just don't give a shit because you know you you're you're destined for bigger and brighter things right in your own future right so i think you know i think very highly of myself i trust in my ability but i know i've just got to put the working and hopefully um with a bit of luck and a bit of hard work and a bit of talent it'll hopefully come through hopefully realize my potential but sometimes you know you put in a situation where you're reminded jesus christ man like sometimes wrk wrk situations suck ass right so i'm in between moving occupations and, you know, you have to go through this whole song and dance of announcing that you're leaving um, and uh, announcing you want to do a leaving drinks, announcing all this nonsense. Right. And for the most part, it's a bit it's a bit there's no point in it, really. Right. Because for the most part, especially and well, most people at working companies only have the only colleagues or friends that they have are the ones that are on their team. Right. Or, or in. Yeah. On their team for the most part. They don't necessarily talk to anybody else. Right. But if you if you do and you're like me and you're a bit of a fucking social whore, then you might have a few other people that you speak to. But it's still, you know, it doesn't necessarily need a mass email. You just the people that you speak to, you they'll they'll speak to you. They'll ask you questions about where you're going, and you mention to them, hey, by the way, if you want to have a drink, I'm having a drink on this day, right? You don't necessarily need, need to put out an email, but today or the other day, I had to go through the whole song and dance of having an email sent out, and it's just, it's so cringe, man. It's so so cringe. But you know, you again. I'm I'm a bit I'm a better team player than I was a few months ago or a few years ago. Maybe I would have probably more kicked up more of a fuss. But I was just like, oh, can this end? So when will this end? But you know, again, you know, what can you do? You just have to play. You just have to play along and hope it fucking dies soon. But yeah, um, the moving in between places is a bit annoying, especially the whole notice period thing. It's like you know, dying by a thousand cuts. You know, it just takes so long for it to be over. Um, in some respects, it's nice too, as well, to be honest, to kind of like, you know, close one chapter and start another one. There is, a, again, I mentioned before another time where it's nice to be the one to say you want to go, right? As opposed to someone saying, your shit, fuck off. That's always nice, right? Um, uh, but in general, it's still weird, right? Both both of them are, both occasions are weird. When someone says the fuck off, it's weird because, you know, it's you. that's that's your kind of world and your reality. Even though I, I do persuade people not to get wrapped up or not to you know not to um, base most of their their personality or their persona or who they are or to seek fulfillment from an occupation or from a job because it's something that can get taken away from you in an instant right it's like putting all your faith and love and hopes into somebody else's you know relationship with i think it's good in some respect but sometimes it can be dangerous too because when that person has had enough of you or they decide to go seek past as new your whole world is going to encave on you right so I don't necessarily believe in us, you know. I believe in kind of tapping into yourself and believing in your own message. But in general, even if you are that, per- even if if you have that tendency, it can be kind of rough, you know. Even if you do move off your own will, if you do move jobs to your or, off your own regard, um, off your own accord, sorry. And if you get told to fuck off, it can be strange because you know your whole per- your whole person was wrapped up in there, right? You had your way, you had your kind of commute in the morning, right? Um, yeah, you had your commute in the morning, you had your lunch buddies, you had the, you know, you had your kind of like schedule of how often you got up to get a coffee, when you want to go get a snack, when you went to have a cigarette, when you went to go and disturb this person at their desk or at their station or in their zone or in the kitchen. I mean, you had your little thing that you did, right? You had your little routine. So when that gets taken away from you, it can be a weird, a really, really weird mindfuck. But again, it, should pro- it probably goes back to the whole idea, like the whole working thing. The whole being with other adults for eight hours a day for five days a week, just like school again, it's just strange. I don't think we should be doing that, which is probably why on Fridays or sometimes if you work in a big office and see people run out on Fridays really quickly, like cockroaches, right? They don't want to talk to anyone or people that just run to a station don't want to have another chat on the train line with somebody from work. It's because, you know, you spend so much time with people at work they don't, you don't really want to spend time with, you know, you don't want these forced relationships, right? It's kind of like... um 
these kind of open plan workplaces that kind of meant to foster collaboration but don't do any but oh, the only thing they do is like you know force um distraction or get you know force these kind of fake friendships so the last thing you want to do is stay any bit longer stay longer at your workplace you want to just run home and kind of meet your own friends so it might kind of lend itself to the idea that maybe you know a couple if, if, if they knocked off a couple of days right in a week especially for like mid um entry level to mid-level jobs right if they gave you a couple of days off in a week so you work three days a week or maybe they just did one and you work four days a week and you had uh, three days off i think you'd, you'd you'd get if not more the same amount of work done honestly maybe high end maybe like um, upper management you might have to work like you know two week two weeks of the month you might have to work four another one you have to work five but i think that's more that's more um that probably lends itself more to the kind of human experience because i know we are social creatures but i don't think in that regard man like this forced social this forced um social gatherings at work eight hours a day all the time again and again and again then you want to leave and you have to give notice you have to stay another month again and again and again then it's a fucking leaving due again and again and again then you start the new job and it's a fucking um what they call it um it's probation period and all that sort of malarkey again and again and again you're having to which i mean it's just uh, it just doesn't stop like it's just fuck and then you wonder why people are getting so um angry and pissed off on social media and they want to be fucking social media activists because they don't have anything to do they want a purpose right and you you find purpose and meaning through these like fake outrage things that you get upset about on social media that no one in their right mind is paying attention to in real life no one cares right I saw something recently about Kendall Jenner being accused of cultural appropriation because she had a, a, a haircut that looked like an, that looked like an afro but looked more like a haircut you might have seen a woman wear back in the Tudor times, right? Like a kind of puffed out thing, right? And she's being accused of culturally appropriating afro. It's like, <coughs> <coughs> it's like, what in the fucking fuck? The average person on the street doesn't care. They're busy trying to pay council tax and keep the light on and feed their kids. It's like... I don't know i don't know it just it just worries me a lot those kind of things and i think in, like i said the dream obviously is to kind of do my own thing get that up and running and be away from the whole employment racket but there's got, i'm gonna have so many good stories especially for especially when i get grow some balls and decide to do stand-up i'm gonna have so many good jokes to tell hopefully right i'll have so many good premises i'm saying not good jokes i have so many good premises to kind of lean off of right like how weird it is to be at work like just the whole idea of like you know saying good morning to people like i probably don't even say good morning to the brunette in the like in the morning like, i just ignore her and go out do you know what I, mean? I probably don't even say i didn't even say good morning to my mum sometimes when i used to live at home but every day you say good morning to people that you work with you tell them goodbye right you remember their birthday like, i don't know it's fucking nuts you know what i mean like it's so weird and then people wonder why weird sexual harassment cases come happen at workplaces like the lines are so blurry you know you spend way too many t way too in in general anyway pe men and women shouldn't be in a enclosed environment like that especially a forced environment like that anyway right some women wouldn't even some women would purposely stay away from some guys in the bar if they would get their girlfriend because they don't want to be bothered how much more for when you're in a workplace i don't even know you and i have i have to work with you eight days a week and you're sitting next to me right and I wear what I wear. I don't care. Fuck you, right? But you're getting your ideas. You're getting your thoughts. And you're getting fucking excited because I'm, I don't know, picking up your photocopying from the machine and giving it to you so you don't have to stand up and you think I like you or something. It's just weird. Imagine how weird that is for a girl. Like, you're just being nice. Do you want a coffee? And all of a sudden, this guy thinks you want to suck his dick. Like, just a, you know what I mean? It's a strange, strange, strange place to be in. Very, 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 very strange. Like, team outings and stuff. Like, okay. It's just a weird, weird, weird environment.